So now we're at the seeing if they melt part of the laboratory. So you can see I have my hot plate already heated up. It's at 200, so it's a uh, warning, it's hot. So, and I covered it with aluminum foil because I don't want to put the chemicals directly on my hot plate and ruin my hot plate because it's very delicate and expensive. And what I'm going to put is a little bit of each sample on it, and then we're going to just observe it and then we'll come back to it to see if it's melted. And I'm gonna put them in order and put them in a specific location so we can tell them apart. So here's gonna be number one. Okay, so number one is right there. So you can come back and look at number one again while I put on number two. Probably put, put too much of number two, but oh well. Come back and look at number one and number two again. You should start seeing something going on with number two. And we'll come back and look at it while I add number three. There's number three. Okay, we're back again. There's number one. Number two, definitely something happening. Number three, not much happening yet. Okay, this is number four. And no, you cannot eat it. Okay, so there's number four. Okay, back again. There's number one, number two, number three. I can hear some sound coming from number four. You can see it moving a little bit. Can you see a little movement? Just one, and it's, something's happening. I'll come back and look at that again. But while I'm putting on number five, look at number two now. Number three, definitely something going on with number three. So remember what you're observing for? You're observing to see if they melt. There's number five. Okay, let's come back and look again. So there's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Doesn't look really look different. Now I'm gonna add number six. So there's the number six added, and I just added it. And look at it. <laughs> okay, so there's number six. It's kind of going everywhere. He's moving around on me. Okay. Now we'll go to seven and eight. Okay, back again. So there's number one, number two, number three, number four, number five. Six is there. It's that puddle. And now number seven. Okay, so back again. One, two, three. Four, five, six is there. There it is. Seven, and I'm going to add number eight. Okay, so you want to give seven and eight a little time to see if anything's going on. So you're looking to see if they melt, so let's make final observations. There's number one, number two, number three. Number four, number five, number six, number seven, number eight. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, the fumes coming off number three is making me choke up. Um, and I just want to show you seven and eight again, because now they have a little more time. So you can see something. You can see seven and eight. I'll come back to it in a second. Oh, sorry about that. I wanted to come back and just show you one more time um, number seven, number eight. So you can see what's going on with number seven and what's going on with number eight. Okay. And you can see it's it's melted somewhat on number seven, but um, it's because it's also on the end. Sometimes it's harder to get things to start melting at the end of the uh, hot plate. So if it's more center, it, it melts easily. But it also just depends 
on what you know temperature and so forth it is. And then I want to show you something interesting. Look at the number four, the one that was blue. Sorry. Okay, so look at number four, and what I'm going to do to it is just add a little bit of that water that I had earlier. So add a little bit of water to it. I can see where I'm pouring to. There it is. It's hard to film and add water to something at the same time. Look what happened when I added the water to it. What happened to the substance? Kind of interesting. Kind of gives you an idea of what happened when it was sitting on the hot plate. Okay, that's it. Go write your observations.